the mind of Christ is something our believers have as apostle paul said when speaking to the christians in corinthians we have the mind of christ 1 corinthians chapter 216 those who have the mind of christ are able to discern spirit things that the natural man or the unbeliever cannot understand or see having the mind of christ is the same as being indwelt by the holy spirit and both are attained through faith at the moment of salvation from a chapter 5 1 to 2 acts chapter 2 38 through the holy spirit god has made us partakers of the divine nature 2 peter 1:4 so that we can have all things that pertain to life and God knows us through the knowledge of himself. Think of the human mind as a computer and the Holy Spirit as a sort of antivirus program that can be uploaded to the human hard drive. Once a program is uploaded, uploaded I mean, the mind can then affect all the computer systems. taking out harmful applications and replacing them with a good functional applications connecting the analogy the mind of christ rewrites our hard drive so that that we are capable of understanding or interfacing with god himself we gain new desire and qualities like humility philippians chapter 2 5 compassion matthew chapter 936 and other godly fruit galatians chapter 5 22-23 so we have a new purpose that is aligned with his luke chapter 19:10 and we can see clearly the reality before us that his word is temporal and flowed and that we are meant for an internal world john chapter 1 john chapter 2 1570 the mind of christ is only accessible through faith in jesus christ john chapter 1 12 john chapter 3 16 john chapter 5 12 so once we are saved the holy spirit comes to the believer uh, filling him or her with the understanding and hope of future inheritance which is a glorified existence colossians chapter 127 through him we have also obtained access by faith into the grace in which we stand and we rejoice in the hope of the glory of god from a chapter 5 to finally having the mind of christ is not something that is reserved reserved only for perfect people any and every believer has access access to the mind of christ through faith however we also still have the old mind we uh, still give uh, give the uh, to the uh, lu of sin we many also behind it by false doctrine galati chapter 5 7 all or choose to use of freedom in unhealthy ways galati chapter 5 1350 so this is why paul exhorts the roman believers i appeal to you therefore brother by the uh, mercy of god to present your bodies as a living sacrifices holy and acceptable to god which is your spiritual worship do not be conformed to the world uh but be transformed by the renewal of your mind that by testing you may discern what is the will of god so what is good and acceptable uh, and perfect roman chapter 1 i mean 12 to our minds need to be constantly revolved moving away from the mind of their flesh and into the mind of christ ultimately also we have the mind of christ those who belong to god will be sanctified or changed by the new program that has been installed by the holy spirit to timothy 2:19 he 
Hebrew chapter 10 10 14 the purpose the process unfolds over a lifetime and God is faithful to bring it to completion Philippians chapter 